How's it going? Ryan here. And I'm back from a bit of a hiatus. I took last week off. I was traveling for the holidays. Uh, but we are back. We traded for the first time in over a week today. Took two trades today. The first was a loss. second was a win. I'll dive into that, what happened, why I entered, um, and what I could improve on. Because today was a little bit of a sloppier day for me. But before we get into the trades, we're looking at SPY here on the daily time frame. Um, you can see in some of the past days we've had some chop indicated by these really long um, wicks, very small candle bodies, uh, and then here just not a lot of volume, not a lot of price action, uh, and that was Friday, which was a shortened day after the holiday, so didn't expect much there. Um, but then today also kind of one of those days. Um, I expected today to be a bit, bit, bit of a bigger mover, um, and I'll dive into why right here. The reason why I thought we might get a bigger move out of SPY today uh, is we had a multi-day trend line that we had broken. We had broken in the after hours, came up, retested, and were rejecting off of it uh, in the pre-market. As well as that, we also had that 455 level, which is a level off the daily time frame. Uh, we'll take a look at that real quick. So that, uh, that 455 was this level right here. Uh, you can tell it was a range that we kind of pinged around in and here, top of a few days, and also top of this uh, larger bullish candle. So we were rejecting off that area after breaking that trend line in the morning. I thought we might get a bigger move. Really what I wanted to see uh, was uh, we were opening below Friday's low day. I was thinking maybe we'd come up, close the gap, uh, and then come down and approach the pre-market low. If we broke the pre-market low, I was hoping to see continuation down to kind of this lower band uh, that was resistance and then support once we broke above it, right around 452-ish uh, to 452.3. So in that zone, I was expecting targeting uh, had we broken the low of or the low of the pre-market. We did not get there. Uh, so we'll take a look at the five minute. Make this a little bit easier to read here. All right, so right off the open, we kind of came up, retested that trend line, uh, and rejected off it pretty seriously. So usually don't trade the very first candle of the day. I like to watch and see how things are playing out before I make any any decisions. Saw that big rejection off the open, uh, came down, found some support right above 454. Rallied back up, got the retest uh, of the trend line, rejected down. So my first trade of the day, once we rejected, we found the space, we came up, I took puts at the retest of Friday's low of day. Reason being, I wanted to see a lower high. Um, I saw that we had this massive rejection off this area before. Uh, we had broken out of a multi-day support. So I figured that we'd get a little bit of a reaction. I expect us to come up, maybe retest, maybe linger around for a little bit, uh, and then continue the downtrend. We did not, uh, so my bias kind of got me here as I held a little bit longer. Um, so I took the retest here. Uh, my stop should have been right around 454.8 or so, um, right above the high of that candle. I was also watching the two minute, um, so we can take a look at that. So we had this this candle here. Um, if we had broken above the high of that, that should have been where I stopped out. However, I held a little bit longer because we broke above uh, and then we had a red kind of response. We started to sell a little bit, although we did have a longer wick on the bottom and found support in that area. Um, so I should have you know, taken that as a clue to got out, get out. But this two minute candle here is what got me out. Um, so it took a much bigger loss on this than I should have. Uh, contracts kind of lost their value really quick. I bought a 455 in the money put uh, when we were retesting this level here. I sold, where did I even sell? I think I, yeah, I played this one really bad. So I held up until 455 thinking that, okay, if that 455 level holds, we can reject and I'm still good. Um, that would still be a lower high. We did not, and once we broke 455, I got out of my position. So that loss, um, even though it was in the money, I think it going out of the money with a break above 455 is probably what did it. Uh, so it took a bigger loss initially than I should have there. So that was about 
uh, $28 loss, I believe, on, um, yeah, not a big position. So, yeah, much larger percentage than I should have taken. And I should have trimmed uh, or stopped out at my previous stop loss. I did not. So, bad discipline there. First trade back. Uh, and I, it looked like it, you know, I executed poorly. Once we got this rejection off the trend line, we got this retest and rejected off broke and closed below 455 i was ready to retry puts uh, i felt like my thesis was still valid that we were you know breaking below the support couldn't hold 455 so i thought that you know rejection will probably continue our way downward so i got in puts on the retest is 455 level we did sell off i did not take profits at the bottom here. Uh, I should have. I was targeting today, or yeah, yeah, the morning's low, so I was targeting this area here. We did not get there. Um, I did try to take profit, so I took two out of the money puts. I took two 454 puts at this time. They're pretty cheap. Uh, I got them for 30 cents each, um, so that's why I took two, is because they're very, very cheap. And I tried to trim one down here. Uh, I was at about 50% profit. So tried to trim, we bounced pretty quick and that order didn't fill. I was putting in a limit order, I think. I um, think I'm just gonna stick to market orders for now, just because I've had this issue of not getting an order filled. Um, you know, taking profits down here would have been very solid, didn't get them. Uh, so I held through all of this and I took profits initially once we came down here again. Uh, so that was a winning trade. Theta did eat away some of those profits. When we returned back down to this level, uh, the premiums weren't nearly as high as they were here. So um, I, I took another off here. So I had my two still came down, took one off. As we started come back up and chopping around in here, I, I took the other off. So overall, uh, not the greatest execution, right? Not great. Um, there it was a tricky day you know um i think probably the most reliable thing is just looking at calls off this area uh, i mean pretty much every time we entered this area we had a, a pretty steep rise out of it um so that's definitely a zone that i'll be watching tomorrow as well around that 454 454.2 ish area um yeah there are different ways i could have played today uh, especially after seeing this candle here um, I wasn't trading at this time. This was right about when I got off at nine, but just not a great day. Uh, first day back, so not expecting to have the best day, but we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, that's all I really have. You can kind of see we chopped around in a, in a pretty small range today. We were between 454 and 455.5, so about a dollar and a half range. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. I do trade live every Monday through Friday, so if you want to stop by and hang out, please do. We'd love to have you. Other than that, I hope you have a great day. All right, peace.